I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. Welcome to Dead Decks. I like the dramatic pause. Dead Decks. Yeah, buddy. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, good. Focus. Uh, all right, well, I blame Harry for this shit already. Because he said uh, when we opened Flights of Fantasy, which is what this shit is, otherwise known as Imagine Dragons, Imagine Dragons. that if there was any sort of gameplay to it, we were going to show it. And here we are. Yeah. Showing it. I'm making him an honest man because there's barely fucking gameplay. But we do have. <laughs> Set in shot. Keto candy bars. Keto candy bars. Yeah. Because we do all nothing but fancy props. That's, we'll get to what this means later. There's stuff on it. Yeah. All right. So is your shit in the shot? Your decks ain't even in the shot. No, they are. Look okay. at that. Look at that. Don't uh, so, uh, I did the laborious task of going through rules as I normally do, but in this case, three cards worth of them. This is how you get the rules in this game. Uh, rule, card, random. <laughs> rule card A, B, and C, and if you're not sure you have them all, you can get the checklist that you get four of a fucking pack. <laughs> Check those and make sure you got all the rule cards. Magic uh, Dragons. I, I was telling Harry I read some hilarious advertisement where they said this was a genre-breaking uh, new thing that they created. Genre branding. Oh, yeah. Fucking phenomenal. A game, art cards, and a story card all in one. Why don't you fucking weep, Magic? <laughs> weep, you son of a bitch. Because not everybody can suck in three ways at the same time. This yeah. is innovation here. Get there. All right. So I have went through there and here, whatever, and it extracted some... This is keep slamming shit. It's my, that's not even the fucking shot. It doesn't matter. The sound is. <laughs> Uh, I've extracted the rules from this thing, and yeah, we're going to show them a little. We don't really fucking care, even less than normal. This game is beyond terrible. This was a an art card set that was created into a game for the pure purpose of selling it as a game. It's just art cards. There's nothing more to it. Yeah. It's not a game. It's just a pile of fucking shit. There is a story on the back, and it I doesn't did, fucking. Matter. I did read them. They're fucking bad. So. It doesn't fucking matter. It's a. It, <laughs> somebody got really fucking high, and scribbled words onto various pieces of paper, <laughs> shuffled them around, put them in a pile, and submitted them to their higher ups, and that became the game logic. Yeah, so this is what I went through for you. Labor of love. Uh, got the rule. So we're going to, I think we might have mentioned this in the opening, but I'll do it real quick because we want to abandon this fucking video as fast as possible. There's one stat on these things, and they have a category. When we first opened them, we didn't know what it meant. Well, now we do. So uh, the only gameplay here is die roll. Well, that's it. You get characters out, you lay them down next to each other. You've got a few categories. You roll your eight-sided die. For every category, you write the number down. At the end, you add it up. Uh, that scry checklist price guide that we've got said that if you love doing your taxes, you're going to really enjoy this game. Yeah, that's just pretty accurate. So that's what that number means for one category in every round, I think it's called, but don't care. You add a bonus to your die roll, uh, but all cards have that. That's the only fucking stat, and there's an E and a G at the beginning of each card. That means evil and good, so game set up. Go through the rules. We'll do this quick. Uh, e and G. Got to split them up. He's got to be evil. I got to be good. I don't think I did that correctly, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever. Because um, I don't care. Uh, then you agree on how many characters you're going to have in your deck. It says no less than 15, so that's what I did. 15. Because we want to get done. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not fucking doing 15. No way. We might do two for one character. I'll roll a couple die because it sounds cool on the table. Yeah. And then we're done. Uh, it says for some reason, if you want to go more than 15, you got to do it in intervals of three. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason. Nobody uh, cares why, though. There is something beyond just the war, basically, uh, adding numbers part. There is enhancements cards. Uh, so they are like a spell. There's three of them that come in the packs of the game. There's some promo cards that do other things. Booga, 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 booga. They have a trigger and like a play restriction where it says once uh, your opponent's done something, then you can play this. So there is something <laughs> that's kind of like a uh, CCG sort of. 
Uh, so anyway, so you split your cards up when you start, you agree on the deck size, but there is no limit on the number of enhancement, i.e. instant sorcery cards you can have. Have as many of those as you want, but they all have restrictions on how many you can play in a game. But those are the side, you put your character cards in a deck, uh, and then you shuffle the shit and blah, blah, blah. You place it face down. So we've got, yeah, I'm in frame now. I'm in frame enough. Yep, you sure are. All Let's right. do this. So, gameplay. Both of us draw a creature. This is, this looks like a cross, but it's a creature. It's called a sacred relic and it's a creature. Uh, so, I have a creature. Now, I don't do anything with it unless I want to read the story because I'm bored of shit by the game. There's <laughs> a lot to read. I mean, Jesus Christ. There's a fucking book here, son. Yeah. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien be jealous of this shit. All I need to really do is look for the sorcery. When we get to that die roll, then I'll add that bonus. But other than that, I don't need to know any of this shit. So, this is what I wrote because I could not be Oh, bothered. that's high quality. You better back that up so we can see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's our scoring grid. Yep. Now, if you were to do this accurately per the rules, uh, sorcery, strength, stamina, intellect, and agility. Five categories. So, I literally say... Okay, we're starting around sorcery. Let's both roll. <laughs> roll seven, roll five. Let's write that shit down. Now we're doing the strength battle. Let's roll again. Two and a three. You won the strength battle. Write that shit down. Now we're doing stamina. Uh, six and a two. You won. Write that shit down. Intellect. And then I go, oh, wait. It's my guy. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucking cares. It doesn't matter. Uh, you do the sorcery. You touch my hand. The sorcery category. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, and then I just write down plus six because I have a plus six sorcery. So we do that for this character. And then when we finish that, we discard it. Text up so we know that's the discard pile. Is it in frame? Yeah. There's, There's my discard. Look at there. Um, and then you add it up. So we would have wrote it all down on here. On this lovely thing, as a seven, oh, and Jesus a two, Christ. and a one, and a whatever, and then a, my last category, WTF. Add that shit up, and there's your round. Now, one part of the rule says figure out who won the round, and one part just says add all the fucking numbers at the end of everyone. <laughs> so you got five categories. You got a creature. You're both doing five die rolls. You're adding all that shit together, but you have 15 minimum creatures that you're doing that with. What's that equal? 75 die rolls a piece. No, 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 no. No. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> That's what that equals. Nobody gives a shit about any of this. These are fucking art cards. The game is secondary, if not thirdly, if not fourthly, but probably fifthly. <laughs> and the, des the design of this fucking... Where am I at? What? Oh, yeah. But game. 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 Yeah. This is not a game. This is bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. But I still had to keep... Uh, but we, we kept tabs just so you don't have to keep tabs. Yeah. Now, we've done the difficult research combing through the three cards of rules. Now, you don't have to. So, go buy this shit and collect the chase, foil, whatever the fuck cards that are in this set that people semi, and I mean loosely, semi give a fuck about. <laughs> And the rest of them are just throwing in a garbage can because they mean nothing. Yeah. Nobody's ever going to give a shit. The one funny thing we talked about was there's a lot of mention on some of the cards. Maybe it's the enhancements, the spells, about tiebreakers. How the fuck are you going to have a tiebreaker after three dice chance? rolls in a game? Yeah. You got one in eight chance of time to begin with, and you multiply that by what? 10, 15, 20 dice throws? Fucking, yeah. Who the fuck's going to tie on that shit? And even if you do. You don't give a fuck to begin with, so why the fuck would you be, give a fuck 10 throws in? There's the ugly jig trying to be not ugly. I yeah, I uh, mean, these are art cards. Treat these art cards. If you like them, pin them to a fucking board. You know, put them in a case. Throw mm -hmm. them in something that you think is pretty. <laughs> Otherwise, just throw them in a fucking garbage because they don't fucking matter. They're not collectible they're not anything special outside of what the two three cards that are semi-rare in this entire yeah concept. The chase cards there is some autograph cards that are really rare but who cares yeah, you're not gonna get those yeah uh, no, are they straight up or are they redemptions i think they're straight up 
Okay. Know, but I don't know. I might be lying. Even if they're straight up, does anybody really give a fuck about any of this shit? No. Yeah. So, our suggestion is to treat this as cardboard. Yeah. That's what it is. Autograph or not. Um, if you're cold, <laughs> set them on fire. <laughs> Even if you're not cold, set them on fire. I left off the deck building rule. One thing, one thing. Uh, that guarantees that there's no fucking skill or deck building in this at all. The deck building rule is you have to have the exact same bonus modifiers on your creatures in the two competing decks. Oh. So, cannot have any, you can't collect no, better cards. No collectability advent, advantages whatsoever. No. You have to start on the exact even keel with your opponent. So nothing but pure chance dice rolls. Guarantees that that's all it is. Memorizing the enhancement cards and when to play them would be the only skill, but there's fucking three of them. I mean, surely they can't be that hard. So, so what, is, what is this truly? Our cards. Our cards. There's no playability to this. This is, this is junk. Yeah. This should not be considered. And we'll, we'll talk, we're we gonna do a discussion video on this because it deserves at least a five, eight, 10 minute video of why this should not be anything. This should not exist in the collectible card game universe. Yeah. It's trash. Yeah. It's uh, worth as much about as the back side of this keto candy bar. And, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna rip the fucking, the <laughs> rules up because fuck these rules, man. I mean, that's stupid. All this is dumb. This is, I hate everything that this chooses to be. And who won this game? We both lost. Everybody it's because loses. We, we touched it. Everybody loses that chooses to play. <laughs> All right. Oh, how do we do? Good enough. Yeah, buddy.